Yo, what is going on guys? It is Prodigy today, and today is the start of my new series, the Overwatch Hero Guide. In this guide, I'm going to be showing you guys the tips and tricks, all his abilities, and some assets to be better at the game, and overall gameplay. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, since you're going to order, the first hero today is going to be Genji. His abilities are Dragon Blade, which is his ultimate ability, able to use a deadly melee weapon, which is basically one hit for each person. His next ability is Deflect, which is deflecting incoming projectiles towards the direction which you are aiming. His next ability is Swift Strike, which is rapidly dashing forward to inflict damage on enemies. Eliminations also reset the cooldown timer, so every time you get a kill, it resets the timer. Shurikens throw accurate bursts of three projectiles, and you can also throw a fan of them. And his passive ability is Cyber Agility, which allows him to climb on walls and double jump. Genji's damage breakdown is that his shurikens do 28 damage per shot with a 1.5 second cooldown timer. His fan of shurikens do 28 damage per shot with a 1.5 second cooldown timer. His swift strike does 50 damage with an 8 second cooldown. His deflect has an 8 second cooldown with a 2 second duration. And his ultimate ability dragon blade has a 1 swing fire rate, 120 damage, and a duration of 8 seconds. Genji is a versatile flanker with the highest level mobility in the game. Capable of reaching nearly any point of the map, no matter how high or how far away, he can attack at both range or up close with deadly shurikens, execute fast burst damage across his swift strike and even deflect the attacks of the enemies back at them. Much like Soldier 76, his versatility comes with his downsides. Neither is he as agile as Tracer in combat, nor does he deal as much damage as Reaper. Like I said, his abilities are Cyber Agility, his shurikens, Deflect, Swift Strike, and Dragon Blade. Genji is a deadly offensive threat, capable of easily sneaking behind enemy lines and harassing his opponents with constant volleys of shurikens. You should always be taking side routes in order to flank the enemy team, as Genji contributes much less than merely hanging back with his team. Remember not to get too far away from them, however, as Genji has much less than the ability to escape bad engagements compared to Tracer. Genji is usually better fighting his enemies at a medium distance rather than up close. He lacks the evasiveness as Tracer and the damage self healing of Reaper making him vulnerable to being killed if he opts to get too close to the enemy team. Only engage and up close with either Dragon Blade or if the enemy team you're fighting is vulnerable, such as a lone Widowmaker. Deflect provides Genji with incredibly high skill ceiling. It can be used to deflect everything from Bear's Broads to Tracer's Pulse Bomb, McCree's Deadeye, as well as Hanzo's Dragon Arrow if you use it at the right time, allowing you to rapidly turn the tables on almost any engagement. A good burst damage combo is to use your secondary fire of shurikens up close, followed by a quick melee attack, which is then the animation cancelled by shift strike. This will provide a heavy burst of damage that will kill you as many injured players instantly as you can. The wall climb of cyber agility has a variety of uses, even in combat. When fighting near a doorway, get your enemy to chase you towards the doorway, then use cyber agility to climb up over it and ambush them when they come through. You must choose your moment to use dragon blade carefully. Genji is not any more durable than normal while using it meaning that your enemies can easily knock you away or kill you at range if you use it inappropriately. Try to use Dragon Blade when there is multiple enemies with low base health, such as Symmetra or Mercy, within reach of your Dragon Blade, as this will let you quickly kill them and chain your Swift Strikes to eliminate both more targets while remaining evasive to survive longer. Make sure that you're within melee range of your enemies before activating your Dragon Blade. Some trivia for you is that Hanzo and Genji were originally the same character, although they were split in two early in the development of the game. In the next episode of Hero Guide for Overwatch, I'm going to be showing you guys McCree. I'm going to show you guys his damage breakdown as well as some tips and tricks. So watch out for that guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up. And do not forget to leave without subscribing guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching once again. But this is Petazy once again. Hope you're having a good day. Peace out guys.